boxing for the WBA middleweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, it's showtime! Introducing to you at this time, the referee in charge of this bout, working in this is 108th world title bout, Joe Cortez. Now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing black trunks with gold trim, hailing from and representing Los Chorrillos, Panama. He weighed in at a trim and ready 159 pounds with a record of 101 wins, 13 losses. He has 70 wins coming by way of knockout and tonight is making his 22nd appearance in a world title bout. Here is, ladies and gentlemen, boxing's legendary five-time world champion known as Hands of Stone, introducing one of boxing's all-time greats, Roberto Manos de Piedra Duran. And his opponent across the ring on my left, the defending world champion, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim, hailing from Lincoln Park, Maryland. He weighed in at the middleweight limit of 160 pounds even. His record, 25 wins, one loss, one draw, with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. In his second reign as world champion, he is making the fourth defense of his title. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBA middleweight champion of the world, introducing William Juppy. Once again, our referee in charge is Joe Cortez, now to give instructions, 12 rounds of action scheduled. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Here we got Reglan Camerino. I expect a good, clean fight. Una pelea limpia. Give me good sportsmanlike conduct. Keep your punches up. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. All right, so we're set to go here. This is the WBA Middleweight Championship of the World. Is it the swan song for the one-time great Roberto Duran, or will we see a history-making performance and see him upset this uh, great young champion, William Joppy? Joppy must try to knock Duran out. Duran has a whole barrel of tricks up his sleeve to try and use on this guy. I asked him about his reflexes. He said, don't worry about my reflexes. He says, hey, well, I'm okay. But we'll find out about that. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for 12. Roberto Duran in his uh, black trunks with the gold trim, Joppy in the uh, blue with the white. Now, uh, of course, what Roberto Duran would like to do is work to the body on Joppy. What Joppy wants to do is fight outside and bang him uh, to the head and try to shake this guy up early. Duran was down in the first round of his last fight, and Joppy can bang. He did 19 knockouts and his 25 wins. Two terrific performances against Julio Cesar Green. Both guys are coming off wins. Joppy uh, last January against Julio Cesar Green to win his title back. Nice uppercut inside. I was talking to Bobby Chez yesterday, the former world champion. He said, Bobby, you know, in your fight, I said, well, what's the difference when, you, when you're young and when you're old fighting? He says, when you're old and you fight, he says, you think you can do things because it seems like it when you're training. Then you get in there. Oh, nice right hand landed by Joppy right away. Two punishing shots to the head by Joppy again, too. Duran comes back with a sneaky right hand of his own. And, of course, the crowd loves anything that Duran does. They'd love to see the upset because it certainly would be a historical moment in boxing to see this guy do it. A little bit of a low blow there, but the Roberto does things like that. He'll use an elbow. He might bang you with a low blow. He might uh, get the lace up in your face. Uh, he's, a, he's a real warrior. You see very borderline shots out there. And you're going to expect Joe Cortez, who's in his 108th world title fight, too, uh, say something to uh, Duran if he keeps hitting low. Duran is showing some power, but look at uh, Joppy coming back, showing some hand speed. And I said to tell you about what Bobby Chez was saying. He said, you know, when you try to avoid a punch, you, your mind tells you to avoid it, and all of a sudden you find yourself on the canvas. And I'll tell you this, Duran is not going to be able to take shots like he's been taking in this first round very long from William Joppy before he goes down. 
nice strong uppercuts. And the sting is not in the punches of Roberto Duran like that. They call him the hands of stone, Manos de Piedras, uh, for many, many years, but they're like hands of powder puff tonight in comparison to the way he was many, many years ago. And I hate to say that because I love Roberto Duran as a fighter. He's provided me with tremendous excitement over the years as a broadcaster, and you hate to see a guy go out and on the other hand, it's a thrill to see him in action again in the ring, as I know you people that are watching around the world want to see the guy do very, very well, but he's in against a very, very good champion and uh, Joppy Jr. And Joppy wants to show the world, as he uses the name of Roberto Duran, that he truly is a good fighter. There's no quit in Roberto Duran. Duran is a tough kid, and he'll do everything he can until he does eventually get nailed by a shot, which will end the fight. seconds now this is the first round on looping hand is the bell ending round one seven year old fella can get himself in but I'll tell you when you're fighting a guy who's 27 years old in the peak of his career it's very very difficult to task in front of Roberto Duran tonight Duran uh, don't forget is giving away some six inches in reach and also three inches in height so Joppy has just about everything possible going for him Tries to get up on his toes, tries to get that sneaky left through there to stop Choppy from coming in. The once powerful hands of Roberto Duran are not there, I'm sad to report to you. It looks sometimes better as you watch on television than what you can see when you're standing right next to the ring or seated right next to the ring as we are. You can really judge much better how much is behind those punches. And let me tell you that the punches of Choppy are much heavier than those of the hands of one time stone. Don't forget, uh, as I talk about the slick ability of Joppy, Duran is truly a legend. I happen to believe that as a lightweight, he might be, uh, certainly would be considered in a very short list of names of the greatest fighters that ever lived, is Roberto Duran. But tonight is not going to be his night. And just enjoy watching this uh, legend as much as you can because you never know what may happen. Although Joppy is really landing all the heavy blows here into the second round. You see the head gets bounced back again halfway through the second round. Joppy is filled with confidence. He knows, or at least I think he feels in his heart that uh, this guy can't hurt him. But uh, Joe Cortez, his eyes open up there. His, they touched gloves and the Joppy was going to throw a shot. And Joe Cortez looked at him. His eyes are like saucers. What are you doing there? We're in round number two. This is scheduled for 12. It's not going to go 12. But every moment that we have to watch Roberto Duran as sad as it is to see the one-time great champion in action, it's an opportunity to see the champion on his last days. This very well may be his last fight. He said he wanted to fight another year, but if he's beaten badly here, unless he really needs the money, which he may, you probably won't get a chance to see him fight again. Joppy pounds him with the left arm. Right uppercut inside, and Duran, there's no quit in him. He keeps coming forward. Duran wants to fight inside. He'd like to stay right in here with his uh, head resting on the shoulder of Joppy and just pound him to the midsection and try to slow Joppy down. But in the heyday of Roberto Duran, those shots inside would be very punishing. Lancing right hand did get through that time by uh, Roberto Duran. Champion has a very confident look on his face. William Joppy in the blue trunks to the left of your screen. Lunges forward with the left jab, and Duran ties him up. Closing seconds now. This is the second round. excited but it doesn't do anything to Joppy you didn't see any sting or any starching of his knees at all and it looked like a pretty good right hand that Duran hit him with and days gone by that might have flattened an opponent see Roberto giving it his all Down. Joby pounces that left hand and uh, 
thing you got to watch, and that's what uh, the referee was saying. Watch that head coming forward, Roberto. Roberto would use a headbutt if he uh, thought he could get him uh, turn the fight around. But right now, his head is doing a lot of catching of leather. Joppy's hands are ever so much more quick than are the hands of stone, the one time hands of stone. And Roberto, at one time, used to be able to do that and faint and make guys miss. And that's the frustrating thing for a 47-year-old athlete. Your mind is there, you know what you want to do, and you hit the electric button to your brain and it doesn't respond. Right now, Joppy is just pounding the face of Roberto Duran. Nice right hand! He's got him staggered! Now watch, Joe Cortez won't let him take a lot of punishment if he doesn't answer. Roberto's trying to hang on, he's gone! He's out on his feet! I'll be surprised if Joe lets him hit him too many more times! Roberto's ready to go. It's a sad sight to watch. The crumbling great champion of one time. He won't go off his feet. And Joppy wants to finish him here in the third. He weathers the storm. Cortez looks into the eyes, and Roberto's legs are still shaky. Duran does not want to go down, and Joppy wants him to hit that canvas and end this fight. Digs to the body, back of stand, and a crushing blow to the left temporal bone of Roberto Duran. He bangs him to the ribs. Duran tries to hang on, plods forward with his head down. And he's hurt, believe me, folks. His uh, legs do not have a lot of elasticity in the knee area. Joppy just measuring him for the right hand now. Flips him behind the ear, left hook. He's looking to hit the big right uppercut. He digs to the body again. Comes upstairs with the uppercut. Right hand catches him, left hook. Duran taking a lot of punishment here in the third round. This is what a fighter at this age doesn't need to do. Joe Cortez is looking for a reason to stop this fight. Closing seconds now. Duran is almost defenseless, and that's it. He stops the fight. Joppy does what he came to do. It's a technical knockout for William Joppy. Duran gave it all he had in a sad effort for the one-time great champion.